Welcome back to the program. I just thought I'll give you a little glimpse of what that M Sport package looks like on the inside. You do get a few little extra trims. Of course, you've got these nice black sporty leather seats. And besides that, you of course also have the little M logo that has to show up everywhere. It's here on the steering. It's also on the little sill down there near the door. And uh, well, besides that, you also get the little sporty uh, dead pedal down there, which is aluminum. And so uh, overall, it just adds a little extra and uh, makes you feel a little bit cooler, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's the uh, M package as far as the interiors are concerned. But you know what? Let's just jump right back to Frankfurt because while we were there, we also got a, new, a very unique opportunity. And in fact, this one is exclusively for all of you on CNB. The idea was to also step into the new brand that's coming from BMW, which is of course Project I, right? So the brand called BMW I actually makes its market debut only at the end of 2013, but its first two concept cars are now ready in the flesh. They'll only get uh, full public viewing at the Frankfurt Motor Show next month, so you get to see it right now. The dawn of a new era in many ways, not just for one company, but for the European car industry, as BMW debuts its new sub-brand BMW i. We know that there are many other electric and hybrid vehicles already on sale globally, and that there are many more in the pipeline. But to create a separate division for such vehicles is a major first. These cars will make their debut at next month's Frankfurt Motor Show, but CNBNs are lucky because we have them exclusively on this show for you right now. Meet the first of the two, the i8, which is loosely based on the vision efficient dynamics concept that so many of you saw here in India too. The second is the more exciting one and that is the i3 mega city concept. That's a fair amount of excitement that the world press has uh, gotten itself into with this unveil here in Frankfurt. And the reason for that is, of course, the fact that this is the first car maker to really go full, sort of whole hog into the electric and environmentally friendly vehicle space. There's a creation of a sub-brand, BMW i. We've spoken about that, of course, before. So you know all of this. But we're finally getting to see the personification of some of this. These are still concept cars. There's no doubt about that. But I personally am really excited to get to finally see the i3 concept because the i3 till now is just a form on paper. We didn't really know exactly the the full embodiment of what this vehicle is going to be. It's like a large hatch and at the same time it's also got a few SUV-ish characteristics. This car, the i8 of course is something that uh, you've seen before because in some senses it's very very much akin to uh, the vision efficient dynamics. So for me it's been great to finally get to see the i3 concept in the flesh. It's also fully electric. show as these cars were presented in public view for the first time last week in Frankfurt. The chairman of the BMW board, Norbert Reithofer, presented these cars along with some of his colleagues from the board of management. The i8 uses a 3 litre petrol engine mated to an electric motor and so you get about 350 bhp plus 550 nm of torque. Wow, cool huh? This will propel the full-size sedan to 100 miles per hour in about 4.6 seconds. Awesome! The i3 is fully electric as we said and this is also interesting because it's about 600 pounds lighter than other electric cars like Nissan's Leaf. We got a chance to attend different workshops all day with various engineers at BMW who are working on Project i. They allowed us to delve into the technology of it all in terms of the innovations that will help power these vehicles, but they also let us experience some of the new materials being played with, whether it's recycled plastic bottles that go into the floor carpeting or even the hemp fibers used for the seating. And of course, there is the new age carbon fiber material that helps significantly bring down the weight in these cars. BMW has formed a special joint venture company in the American state of Washington. This company makes the carbon fiber sheeting that's used for the body panels in the i8 and the i3. BMW says even the manufacture of the carbon fiber at this plant in the US is very environmentally friendly and it uses water-based manufacturing processes. The carbon fiber is then processed and shaped into the body panels at BMW's plant in Lansu. Now, 
of course, the i3 is going to be a fully electric product, right? So this is the battery pack, which is going to sit really low on the floor, helps with the center of gravity. But then we come to the interesting part of the story, and that's the actual construction of how this car is going to be put together. So that's the battery pack sitting right there in the middle. And as you can see here, this is the lower frame of the car. It's a little bit different to a typical chassis because it's not monocoque in that sense. Uh, and what they've done.